It's been almost a decade since Tesla first rolled out that silver, futuristic semi-truck under the bright lights of a California stage. Back then, it looked like something out of a sci-fi movie, a promise that one day, the world's heaviest haulers could move freight with zero emissions. But years passed. The hype cooled. Diesel trucks kept rumbling along America's highways while the Tesla Semi seemed frozen in time, part dream, part prototype. Now, as we approach 2026, something has finally changed. Tesla has quietly released an updated design for the Semi. It's more than just a facelift. It's a signal, a sign that Tesla might be getting serious about making this truck real. When you look at the new design, the differences are subtle but meaningful. The roof line is smoother, more rounded, almost sculpted by the wind. The windshield now wraps tighter around the cab, and the headlights, well, they look like they came straight from the updated Model 3. It's cleaner, sleeker, and clearly designed to slip through the air more efficiently. Tesla says this new Semi is more efficient, has increased payload, and is now designed for autonomy. Those three phrases might not sound dramatic, but for anyone following electric trucking, they tell a story. Efficiency means lower energy costs per mile. Increased payload means the truck can carry more goods without eating into range. And designed for autonomy hints at something bigger, Tesla's long game of creating self-driving freight. But here's the part that makes everyone pause. Tesla still hasn't published new specs. The company once quoted around 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, and early fleet data from Pepsi and others showed a range between 1.55 and 1.73. Those numbers were good, but not revolutionary. And without new data, no one really knows how much better this redesigned truck performs. Even more telling is the timeline. Tesla now says volume production won't begin until the second half of 2026. That's nearly nine years after the original reveal. It's fair to wonder, can Tesla actually pull it off this time? Price is another mystery. Back in 2017, Tesla promised the 300-mile version would start at $150,000 and the 500-mile model at $180,000. Those prices sounded bold then, but unrealistic now. With rising battery costs and inflation, a realistic estimate today might be closer to $250,000 or more. And yet, despite all these unknowns, this update matters. Because the Tesla Semi isn't just another vehicle, it's a test of whether electric power can truly replace diesel in long-haul trucking. If Tesla can deliver on range, payload, and uptime, it could reshape logistics as we know it. Fleet owners could save millions on fuel and maintenance, while cities could breathe cleaner air. But that dream hits a wall when we talk about charging. The Tesla Semi requires megawatt charging, not your everyday plug. These chargers can deliver up to a thousand kilowatts of power, enough to recharge a semi in about 30 minutes. The problem? There are only a handful of megacharger sites in existence today. Without a real network, even the most advanced electric truck will have nowhere to go. Still, Tesla's tone has changed. Dan Priestley, the head of Tesla's Semi program, said the refreshed truck includes an immense number of improvements based on lessons from its pilot fleet. That means Tesla's been listening to real-world feedback, fixing what didn't work, refining what did, and preparing for true commercial use. Meanwhile, competitors aren't waiting. Freightliner's eCascadia, Volvo's VNR Electric, and Nikola's Trey BEV are already hauling freight for paying customers. The clock is ticking, 
and Tesla knows it. Yet there's something poetic about this new chapter. The semi that once looked like a fantasy is now quietly evolving into something more practical, less spaceship, more workhorse. The flashy launch is long forgotten. What remains is the grind, the engineering, the data, and the slow, steady march toward production. If Tesla gets this right, the impact will be massive. Imagine a fleet of trucks that can go hundreds of miles with zero tailpipe emissions, powered by renewable energy, saving companies thousands per route. Imagine quieter highways, cleaner air, and the beginning of an electric freight revolution. But if Tesla misses again, if delays pile up, or infrastructure doesn't arrive in time, it could become one of the biggest what-ifs in EV history. So as the company retools for production in Nevada, one question hangs in the air. Is this the moment Tesla finally delivers on its promise? Maybe it is. Maybe this redesigned semi is the bridge between the dream of 2017 and the delivery trucks of 2026. And maybe, just maybe, we're about to find out whether electric trucking can finally go the distance.